How is it functional in your beta testing internally in March of 2022? And we've had no news since and I've talked to the community manager about it and they still haven't talked about it. All that they said was our bad, we were young. Ooh, it's the best time of the year. This is the time where I talk about things with regards to my favorite productivity of Notion. And I get to be pretty raw and candid about how they failed me in 2023, aka the year that I'm recording this and how I want them to improve in 2024. So first and foremost, I am very grateful for the product, right? It's been awesome to me, but fact of the matter is they have really missed on a couple things and they've been close on a lot of things. Like they've released some great updates in the last year. They have released massive improvements to things like automations, right? We have recurring templates now that now have the ability to factor in when the date status was duplicated. So we really do have recurring tasks like them updating that big win. Them adding automations like native automations within the platform, huge win. I am so grateful for that. I'm. It's not even funny how much money this actually does save me in automation costs because it's the most basic stuff that I really need help with. Now, what is really frustrating though is that all of these things are a little bit away. And the reason for that being difficult to, to really stomach is because they also never roll out a great update without not only a lack of full feature set, which I can understand, but they roll it out and the amount of lag makes me, I don't want to say anything to trigger anybody, so I'm just gonna leave it. It just makes me meh. Like I'm very frustrated when it comes to this. And number one is you have to fix the speed problems when you do your quarterly update. We noticed this. It's not very hard to figure out. You just go to the Notion what's new page and literally every quarter they drop something important, okay? Like, all right, Notion Q&A, that's Q4, got it, understood. They have a minor update with the desktop app, cool. All right, what was Q3s? Automations, got it. What was Q2? Project management and AI, got it. What was Q1? I guess Q1 was more Notion app, Q2 was, um, Expansion of AI plus the Slack integration and buttons, right? Cool. Every time those dropped, it was a massive lag spike for like two weeks and everyone was having a conniption about it. It was wild. Stop doing the updates with the lag spikes. Do it in a slower rollout. We'll wait. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not mad if I have to wait for two weeks because I'll get to use the product for the two weeks I'm waiting. My entire team loses their mind during these lag spikes. Please stop. And speaking of quickness, that leads me to number two. And there's gonna be like a whole encompassing theme here, which is like stop half, insert word here, ing them, stop half attempting these things. And maybe they're not half attempted. I just, they, they, they come out like that, right? And progress is better than no progress. However, when it is paired with a giant lag spike for weeks, nobody likes it. So number two is gonna be an improvement to a really great start on something that I did appreciate. This is a quick command bar now. I have it on my Mac and my PC, it's great. The filtering is much improved. I can look for something, like my actions page, find it pretty easily, and it opens it up on my desktop app, which I have over here, right? Like that That was that was awesome. I'm very appreciative of it. Uh, just with a quick key bind, control shift K or command shift K, you can see it right here. It's great. It's cool. And I, it's even cooler that I can quickly edit the shortcut in a more comprehensive way than I've really seen anywhere. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. Um, can we make a quick capture addition to this? Like have presets, like add new page to X database, maybe have some save filtering options, wild. Even if it just allows you to statically have some of the filters or databases pre-selected. So maybe you, if you usually just have one task database you put stuff in, then it would capture it. Wild considering that's how most people operate. Crazy, I know. Uh, or having like three presets at most, all I would need, right? Like notes, tasks, project, wild. Absolutely wild, that's all you would need. Level this up a little bit. Just to have a, I know this is a search functionality. I know you've improved your search functionality and a lot less people are mad about it. But please finish the job here. This is in my wish list. Please finish the job. But I will give you kudos that it was an improvement. Number three, everybody knows exactly what I'm gonna go for here. If you've been in the Notion community for long enough, you know this. Let me go on YouTube, Google Calendar Sync Notion. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, Cron connected with Notion. That's pretty interesting. Wait a second, wasn't there a two-way sync 
It was announced in 2021. Give me a sec. Notion block by block 2021. Is that 22 maybe? Wait for it. Wait for it. 2022 March. How is it functional in your beta testing internally in March of 2022? We've had no news since and I've talked to the community manager about it and they still haven't talked about it. All that they said was our bad, we were young. Like we were young and we announced something too early. I'm like, you can't be valued at $10 billion and so that'd be the answer. It is wild. It's a wild, this is like the most wild pre-announcement that I, I just, I'm gonna keep harping on it until it's done. So an integration improvement would be great. Like actually introducing this two years later um, would be wildly impressive and not at all late to the party as well as any other integrations that would be cool like uh, i wouldn't mind a an email integration like a quick add it to your tasks or something even as like a chrome extension would be cool and then some other minor things uh, that are on my wish list the automations are good uh, they do leave a couple things to be desired they're not necessarily like limited absolutely but in the secondary action section like if I do something like um, checkboxes, you know, changed, and then I want to change something in a different option here, I wish that it could make it so that it would affect items that are related, right? Like, but I really don't have many options here. Uh, it's pretty much limited to specific entities, which doesn't make sense, right? Like it's not something that would make any sense in anyone's workflow for large scale databases. So I would really appreciate if they, they improved that and added some of the button functionality that exists to the automations. Finishing that I'm sure is within their roadmap, so I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, just we can have better integrations, you know, however many years and that'd be awesome. That's my wish list for the 2024 year with Notion. It's a great product, it really is, but um, you make me, you make me frustrated sometimes you know that but i love you nonetheless and i love all of you for watching this content with me and for watching more content like this one and how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more